Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's my pleasure. It's my honor to be out here well connected with nature and bringing this message of emancipation to you, pointing you to look in order to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And that is why I want to speak to you concerning the teachings of Neville Garden and the teachings of Dr. Yosef Ben Yakanan. Okay? And the reason why I choose to do that is because, as we all know, Neville Gala was taught by Abdullah the Black Mystic from Ethiopia. And Abdullah would have taught Neville the teachings of ancient Kemet. And he did that by teaching Neville how to understand the Bible esoterically, at how to understand the Bible psychologically and take him right back to the first civilization and the oldest people that ever exist and had a spirituality and who would have known that the true identity is their divinity. And Abdullah did that so we would be able to use reverse psychology and end all mental slavery. And that is why it's very important, especially for people who look like me, to know what was taught by many of our elders many years ago to sensitize us towards knowing our true nationality, knowing our true identity, our true spirituality, and knowing our true history before slavery. Because as a people, we grew up to believe in a God outside of ourselves and was taught to believe in a Savior and a Redeemer outside of ourselves. Now, there are many people who would say that we are not the only people who are deceived and brainwashed. Everyone was fed with that same kind of belief. But when you look more closely, you would realize that as long as you believe in your image and likeness, it's not idolatry. And when we look at the idol that was given to our people, we see that it's the image of the slave master. We see that our people was given a blue eye and blonde hair man to worship as their Lord and Savior and their master, their redeemer. And millions of people all around the world still believe in this Jesus and Mary story. And when we look now, we see Brother Ben, uh, Dr. Dr. Ben, uh, Dr. Yosef Ben Yakanan, okay? We see people like him for many years been teaching us how to escape from the lies that were told to us. And we see also Abdullah was doing the same thing by teaching Neville Gallagher the truth that if you call on Jesus and believe Jesus to be some man outside of yourself that you have the wrong God. So in essence, I am speaking of people like Dr. Ben so that people who know about Neville Goddard but do not know about Dr. Ben Yakanan that they can check him out for themselves and listen to what he was saying so many years ago concerning how the Bible was misinterpreted to a people to keep them in mental slavery. So my brother and my sisters, everything that Neville is saying, you can chase all of these teachings way back to Kemet and realize that you are brainwashed. You are deceived. Your spirituality was taken and repackaged and given to you to keep you in idolatry. That is why it's very important for me to make these videos. Because there comes a time when there are people who would try to debunk even what Neville would have thought and try to mesmerize your head 
and get you to go back to secular Christianity and get you to call upon a man outside of yourself by telling you these teachings are new age and telling you that these teachings that they are evil and that they have the devil. And that's why when we look at our own people, we see our own people calling our own African spirituality evil and saying that it is of the devil and they're speaking against the ancestors and they are, are speaking against themselves because they would have missed the language of symbology and they are enjoying the golden calf scheme of worshipping the golden calf or the idol that was built within their minds and the idol of Jesus was built within their minds to their belief system I'm speaking from the Caribbean and Neville grew up in the Caribbean and in the Caribbean the people are taught to have a colonial mentality and a religious mentality always looking outwardly for a savior and a redeemer outside of themselves and this is placed right into the school system from a little child you've been taught to have this belief system which is programming you to keep you in mental slavery and for you to have an employee mentality for you to be limited in your thinking and for you to believe in education more than your own imagination so i have to highlight these things i have to speak of these things so that our people would be more aware the entire caribbean islands they have to depend on things like like tourism and all of this is actually what i refer to as horrorism because they are going against the power that they have within themselves that they can achieve their every desire to depend on another because their governments and their religious system and the school system is set up in a way to keep them to vibrate under the low frequency. So my brother and my sisters, I'm saying all of this to say that what Abdullah was teaching Neville Garden, you have to learn to read between the lines and learn to use reverse psychology. That is why I'm speaking about people like Dr. Joseph Ben Yakanan, okay, and people like Dr. Henry Clark. So you can look them up for yourself and you can learn of what they would have taught concerning our history, concerning our true nationality and our true spirituality. Okay, I'm, I, I'm not going to go into all of the details of these individuals. I'm making sure speaking about these individuals to bring their, uh, their existence to your awareness that you would understand and you can do some research for yourself. Everything is right there on the internet and I'm make, just making you more aware. Therefore, my brother and my sisters, I'm encouraging you to look up Dr. Yosef Ben Yakanan. Okay? Look up Dr. Joseph Ben Yakanan and what he's been teaching black people for so many years. Just like I would have spoken about Marcus Garvey. Okay? So you must understand the teaching of Neville Garden from every angle to realize what, where that teaching really came from. So when people would ask who would have taught uh, Abdullah, all of that is not necessary as long as you know that your real spirituality is knowing your true identity and know what was done by the teaching that was given to you through secular Christianity. When, when you know that it was stolen from Kemet and it was borrowed, it will help you more to understand that you are more powerful than what they would have had you to believe. And when you come to know your true history, it gives you power. It empowers you because you realize that all the lies that you've been told that they were keeping you limited, all the lies that you've been told, they've been robbing you of your creativity. And now you start believing in yourself and knowing what was the spirituality of your ancestors. Now you can operate in your ability. Now you can operate in your creativity because you can now learn to appreciate yourself and to love yourself because you would realize that you are dehumanized 
by the belief system that was fed to you. So Abdullah was displaying all of these things that I'm speaking here right now to the teaching that he was teaching Neville Goddard. And many people take that teaching and speak a lot of Neville Goddard narrative and fail to read between the lines that Abdullah was sensitizing Neville with a message that would be received by humanity so that a people who have been kept in mental slavery would be set free. So my brother and my sisters, I have to do these videos in this way to help a people. You cannot say that you know truth and that you are conscious and you are in your Christ consciousness and you want to be biased or one-sided. There are many, many people who have used the teaching of Neville Goddard to make millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. I don't even want to call their names. They write many, 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 many books from the teachings of Neville Goddard. And they're always putting their own spin or their own twist on it. They're always putting it their own way and always saying that they don't want to sound religious if they're going to quote a scripture because they're hiding something from you. They don't want you to realize that it is your own spirituality that was taken to you and repackaged and given to you to keep you blind. But my brother and my sisters, the act of Abdullah was to set our people free by pointing them to look inwardly to discover that their real identity is their divinity. And when we look at teachers such as and historians such as Dr. Yosef Ben Yakanan, Dr. Clark, and many more, you realize that they've been teaching us this same thing. And we must know it, as I would have said, from every angle. So even when you tune in to listen to a message concerning Neville Goddard and Abdullah, you will realize that there's a brother that is here that is sensitizing you to wake up. Wake up, my people. Because the people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And I'm bringing knowledge to you. For where there is no vision, the people perish. But we see all these men, they were visionaries. Dr. Ben, Ben Yakanan, these men, they were visionaries, not just historians. Dr. Henry Clark, they were visionaries. Malcolm X, they were visionaries. Marcus Garvey, they were visionaries. Martin Luther King, they were visionaries. And the vision must continue on as our people wake up from all corners of the world. Here am I in the Caribbean and wake up to the truth of knowing who I am. Therefore, let us spread this message to the four corners of the world and wake up our brothers and our sisters to wake up out of the valley of Jai bones. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, this is not your normal Neville, Neville Goddard message that you might be looking for to just manifest material things in this world. But the most important thing is to know yourself. Because what shall it profit a man if he gain this whole world and lose his soul? So, my brother and my sister, it's very, very, very important for you to receive this knowledge. So go and research Dr. But Yosef Ben Yakanan for yourself. So with that be said, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.